This is an introduction to how the color wheel can be used as a tool to identify key color relationships when examining art. First, it is helpful to know how to draw a color wheel when one isn't available. All you need to do is draw a wheel with six spokes like you see here. Then, the key is placing the colors in their proper positions. If this is incorrect, the color wheel is useless. Just recall the colors of a rainbow, Roy G. Biv. In this case, you are placing the colors of the rainbow around the color wheel in the order of the rainbow with the exception of indigo. So it is more like Roy G. BV. You can write them clockwise or counterclockwise. Knowing how to quickly jot this down can be really helpful when a color wheel is not available. Now I am placing my primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. These are the purest colors from which all the other colors are created. Look at the triangular pattern that is forming. The secondary colors are between the primary colors. If you look on either side of a secondary color, you will know which primary colors were used to make it. I went ahead and placed orange, purple, and green on the color wheel. Now we need to place the tertiary colors. These colors are formed when a primary color is mixed with a secondary color right beside it. The resulting marriage of the two colors is named with a hyphen, with the primary color listed first. Now that the color wheel is done, you can identify color relationships. Analogous colors are close in wavelength and right beside each other on the color wheel. For example, an analogous color grouping here would be red, red-orange, and orange. Complementary colors are what happen when opposite colors are paired together. For example, blue and orange are a complementary color pairing. Placing both of these colors next to each other leads to each color appearing more brilliant. Sometimes a slight vibration or simultaneous contrast appears when color complements are right beside each other. Color temperature can be identified as well. Warm colors are on the half of the color wheel that spans from yellow to red-violet. Cool colors are on the half of the color wheel that spans from yellow-green to violet. Warm colors tend to pop out in a composition. They also psychologically cause anxiety or represent energy. Cool colors tend to recede in a picture plane. They also psychologically lead to calmness or low energy, even sadness. The color wheel provides all of the hues that are in the spectrum. However, sometimes hues are lightened or darkened to get different mixtures of color. When white is added to this hue of blue, we have a tint of blue or sky blue. When black is added to this hue of blue, we have a shade of blue or navy blue. Many people misuse the word shade when discussing color. Be sure only to call something a shade when it is a darkened version of a hue. Hopefully this mini video has been helpful in terms of contextualizing all of the terms that are related to color.